Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be a weekly tarot reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. June 18 to June, to June 24, 2018, so four cards spread for Virgos. Now the first card showing up the topic of their week that is going to be the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Second card showing up the core of the situation, this is going to be the Knight of Wands. Third card showing up the challenges for Virgo, this is going to be the Nine of Swords. And last but not least, we do have the Guidance here, which is the Hierophant card. So that is, if you do have a child, then the week is going to be all about that child. And if you don't have a child, the week is going to be a um, revolving of you guiding an unexperienced person into their way of life that could be uh, you know a nephew of yours or a friend of yours or a, a co-worker of yours which were re which were recently assigned to you etc etc but the thing is that you can capitalize on the capabilities of this person quite a lot now this is displayed here by these couple of cards eight of wands the speaks for uh, how can I place it that uh, the outcome of these situations that this person is going to be involved with you in are anybody's guess but the problem is is that that person here it is not very reliable because they like to jump from one thing into another what I'm trying to say is that they don't have any staying power and they don't um, as, as soon as that enterprise uh, falls disinterest for them or in other words they lose interest in it they quickly abandon it and uh, they jump into the next thing. That being said, that, that week is highly unfavorable for A and U romantic ventures for you Virgos because the person that you may end up with could be just there for the venture and from getting into your pants and afterwards abandoning you uh, because these cards, although they are very positive in the sense of that you will do have the opportunities, also they are very unstable, which means that those opportunities are not long lasting unless unless guys you are not very carefully with you are not very careful with the approach of them all right so that being said you will have to navigate such of a person in case that is, that is not a romantic interest here and that could be as well your um, your romantic partner it's because they will have difficulties to channel their energy to uh, focus on one particular thing and they will be as i said very scattered around and uh, they will not know how to actually engage with a daily routine. So uh, what happens here is that uh, with the challenging card the Nine of Swords is that you may be very afraid well how can I place this in words well that card here in the conjunction of the next couple of the previous couple of cards points that you will have a high sense of responsibility for their actions all right and that will be the challenge because you will feel responsible for either the failure or the the, the success of that guy or that woman regardless all right and uh, that being said uh, you may not find yourself in a very good spot if you take that kind of like a sense of uh, of responsibility to an extreme measures or to an extreme levels the nine of swords points that you need to realize here that um, every person goes with their faith and you're not responsible for anybody else's actions unless this isn't your child and even with your child you can do so much you can explain them what is good or bad but you cannot do it for them, all right? So you need to give the best you can to guide this person, but at the end, you know, the decision will be theirs. And the guidance card here, the Hierophant, points to how you can best guide that person towards success, all right, and to, the, to avoid failure. Well, you can first start by uh, explaining to them the situation. The Hierophant is all about teachings and explaining, uh, leading this theoretical and as well very deep, profound conversations about the reason of the situation, about the reason of the obstacles and about the reason why this is that way. And then just so you can uh, just so you can make them more favorable towards yourself you can share your good fortune with them because the hierophant is it, it is as well about that 
sharing a, a good fortune with others. But also the Hierophant is about beliefs. And you, as I said, you need to realize that your beliefs doesn't have to be as well their beliefs. All right. And that's why you can just help that far and no further than that. So you just give your best and if that person wants to listen, they will. If they don't, they don't. You should not feel responsible for if they don't want to listen to you. So that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, June 18th to June 24th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.